So here's a, an example. As you see the table of values here, you'll see xi, the values, we have three values, uh, three sets of values. So 0, 1, 2 over 3, 1 half, and 1 and 0. So basically our n here spans up to 2. So this problem, uh, we have n equals 2. In other words, so 0, 1, 2. So x0 is 0, um, x1 is 2 over 3, and um, x1 is 1. Uh, similarly here, the value is easy to fill in. This is 1, 1 half, and 0 here. Now, the way it works is we don't need to remember, remember anything about the formulae if we just follow the procedure, which is what we do is we take this value here, um, uh, here, this is the data point, so we'll take half minus the previous one, which is 1, divided by 2 over 3 minus 0. So that comes to minus 3 over 4. In a similar way, we go down here, we take go across, and then this way, so 0 minus a half all over then you have the x values, which are 1 uh, minus uh, 2 thirds. And that boils down to minus 3 over 2 when you work it out. Now, we'll go for the second divided. This is the first divided difference. The second divided difference, again, the not the first. We go down to the second row here across. So it'll be minus 3 over 2 minus, minus 3 over 4. Okay, so this and this, the previous one, divided by, of course, the second divided difference, so that means we're going to go across here, so it'll be this minus this, so it'll be 1 minus 0. So that turns out to be equal to minus 3 over 4. Okay, and now we've got our 3, so, uh, so here, okay, I'm putting it in yellow. So we've got this, we've got this. And we got this. These are our three coefficients for our polynomial. So as we put the polynomial together, let's actually do that. This is a second order polynomial, of course. So the P2x is going to be, the first term is 1. Uh, so we'll put the 1 plus, uh, we'll have the second coefficient, the a's. Remember, these are the a's, minus 3 over 4. And then we'll have x minus uh, uh, x minus x0, which happens to be 0, okay, and then plus, uh, we'll have the next coefficient, which is minus 3 over 4, and that will be multiplied by x minus x0 into x minus x1, which is 2 thirds. So that basically uh, forms uh, our polynomial. Now as we collect the terms and sort this out, let's do that here next. So you'll see that that can be simplified, of course, into 1 uh, minus 3 over 4x, uh, and then minus 3 over 4x squared plus a half x, okay? And that, in fact, works out further, uh, simplifies to 1 minus a quarter x, okay, and minus 3 over 4 x squared. And that is our uh, polynomial approximation to this data, the interpolation, of the polynomial that interpolates this data. So now, by the way, just to show you how what you could do is, for instance, if you had, if you had, uh, this is just a for instance, so this would be our polynomial. Now what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to Okay, so let's go back to this table again. I've removed the polynomial we just computed, uh, and I'll, I'll just, for your reference, put that here. This is the polynomial, the P2x that we had, was one minus a quarter x uh, minus three over four x squared. Now, I wanna go back to the table and show you how, if we had, for instance, an extra point here, for the sake of argument, this is the advantage of divided differences. Suppose we had two, and the value here was, for the sake of argument, 1, for the sake of argument. So um, now, if uh, we were to continue, we would go over here, basically, uh, as we did here, we're across and down. Here, we're going across and from here. So it'll be 1 minus 0 divided by 2 minus 1. So it's equal to 1, in fact. 
okay now as we go further uh, then we'd go and we'd have another point to calculate here so we'd be using in fact uh, uh, the 1 minus minus 3 over 2 which will be plus 3 over 2 and then that's divided by uh, 2 2 thirds okay and that's going to give us so that's equal to 15 over 8 now you can see that we can go for another divided difference here and that will give us basically the following so we'll have 15 over 8 minus or it'll become plus 3 over 4 and that will be divided by will be done as this so it'll be 15 and 8 plus 3 fourths divided by 2 minus 0 and that turns out to be so as you can see here the third order polynomial turns out to be this uh, and again I'll just show you here there you go there's the first the second and I'll, I'll circle these so you can see these coefficients coming up here there and there okay and these are circles that you see across down at the triangle so now in fact we can of course uh, simplify this and the previous one was 1 minus a quarter x so let's use our work we already have which is 3 over 4 x squared and then we'll add to that these values from here which will turn out to be so it'll give us this um, additional term and then when we sort it all out so finally you can see this turns about uh, this uh, we end up with this cubic so as you saw with just the extra data point we had a quadratic first approximation and now we end up with a cubic and by the way just for your reference uh, this uh, was the this was the actual answer we had and if you compare this to previous uh, the previous Lagrange polynomial approximation also you, to the same data points you see that it actually it is the same uh, polynomial in this case as well so that's a reasonably good example that demonstrates how divided differences uh, work and in fact even I have shown you how an extra point here um, uh, can lead to a cubic uh, approximation to the data. Alright, thank you. Stop here.